Hi, I'm Sean Coakley, founding member of Caliber Biometrics and known as the chief evangelist around these parts. Today, I'm gonna to cover two frequently asked questions that we get quite often. And the first one is, how long do you have to wear the device in order to establish accurate numbers inside of the app? And the second one, is how often should you actually wear it, depending on what you do? So let's cover the first part. In order to get an accurate reading to present numbers inside of the app, there's a calculations that take place inside of the device and in the app itself that require some retroactive computation. So we recommend about a minute plus to start to see accurate data be displayed inside of the app. There are some live components to the data such as breath rate and breath volume that will instantaneously show, but some of the more complicated algorithms require some averaging of mathematics, so it takes a little bit more time to display them. Now, let's get into the good stuff and talk about how often should I wear this. It's an interesting question, and I don't want to be a politician here, but reality is it depends on what you're doing. So let's take, for example, if you're interested in ketosis, and we utilize this device to understand respiratory and metabolic biometrics. Keto athletes or people interested in burning fat like to understand if they're burning fat on a regular basis or all the time. So let's take an example. Say you're a ketosis athlete and you have been intermittent fasting and you're about to do a high intensity workout. You might be burning fat up to the workout, but during the workout, based on demands of increased heart rate and other variables, you might actually convert to burning sugar even though you believe you should be burning fat. This is something that confuses a bunch of our users because they want to be burning fat all the time and they don't understand that as metabolism increases or heart rate increases, the body prefers to burn glucose. So it goes and searches for that and you will see with Caliber that you are in fact sometimes burning sugars during a workout even if you should be burning fat in your mind. What's more interesting for a keto person is that at the end of a workout when the body starts to quiet down and the heart rate lowers, that's when you will actually see an increased utilization of fat. So the magic in metabolism happens on the end of the bell curve, if you will. So think about this. If you're coming into a, a, a fat-based workout, you're intermittent fasting and you're starting to increase your heart rate at the top, you might be burning glucose. As you come down the other side and begin to rest again, you'll actually more efficiently be burning fat. So you expect to see curves, if you will, and dynamicism in the readings that occur inside of Caliber. I hope that helps you kind of get your head wrapped around a little bit about how this works. Don't be confused, the data is accurate, but it might be telling you a story that you don't expect.